When I started going to school, I was undeclared for the first year, and I spent that year uh, looking at what I, looking kind of, you know, what I wanted to go into, and I had an idea I wanted to go into something mechanical. I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go technology or if I wanted to go straight engineering. And I decided I wanted to go engineering because it was going to be a challenge. It was something I wasn't sure I could do. And I think that really pushed me to learn something greater and, you know, I wanted to better myself. I always had an inside with uh, aviation, um, with my family and my, my brother and my dad. They're both in the Air Force. My dad's an aircraft mechanic, pilot, and it's always been a fascination of mine. Luckily, I was just given a good opportunity to work here. You know, one day you're doing aerodynamics, in the afternoon you're doing CAD modeling. Uh, the next thing you're learning, you know, solar cells. It's just right now everything's so spread out, even like FAA rules and regulations, sit downs with lawyers. I mean, it's just multitasking is the main part right now. Trying to take in everything and get everything out and still get the desired output is, I believe, the hardest part. I think that the true reward is going to come in like the test flights, coming into proving the formulas, improving um, the numbers that you're creating. And that's going to be a big day for me. Uh, is when we actually test it and then when I get to see my numbers in action. So I think that's going to be the, the, real t the real joy. But I mean, I enjoy coming out here every day. I, I love coming out to the airport and seeing military aircraft out there on the ramp and, you know, knowing that we're working on an aircraft here. And to me, that's, that's a real big reward, just being on the scene and being involved with aviation again.